All right, everybody, what's going on? What's going on? What's really going on? This is your boy, the Educator Poet, and you are listening to the Indie Artist Spotlight Show presents Bobbleheads tonight. And joining me on the phone right now is the ringleader of the Bobbleheads, Scott Snares. Scotty, how are you doing today? Good, Ron. How are you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. I just want to go ahead and thank you for taking time out of your schedule and hanging out with me for the next hour or so, so we can let the people know who the bobbleheads are. Yeah, First cool, off, man. in your words, I want to know, what is a bobblehead? Man, a bobblehead is someone that just lived that bobblehead life, man. You don't care what anyone has to say about you. You know what I'm saying? You, you drank, you smoke, you make money. You know what I'm saying? You hold your head up, you put your head down, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a bobblehead life, like the smoke songs say. We just sitting right, here, right. we getting money, we getting fucked up. We don't care what anyone got to say about us. You know what I'm saying? If they hating, you know what I'm saying? Then they hating. If they love us, they love us. But we're going to do us regardless. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's always important to stay true to yourself and true to your music. Now, one thing I want to know right now is how were the bobbleheads formed? I grew up in a small suburb outside of Minneapolis, about 15 minutes outside of Minneapolis, called Hopkins. And uh, from the people that I hung with out there, I came across Big Tats. Big Tats with me right now. What's good, Jerron? What's good? What's, What's going on, Tats? What's going on? Hey, you know, another day, another dollar. And, uh, you know, so I've known him. I've known him for probably over a decade. And, uh, you know, people go through different things at different points in their lives. I was going through one thing. He was going through another. When he was going through another, he uh, he met up with Shy Baby. And, uh, you know, things just came to happen. I was doing what I was doing at the time. They were doing what they were doing at the time. And we just started putting tracks together. And we weren't really trying to form a group. At first, we were just, you know, just laying down in the studio having a good time. And, you know, once we, you know, collectively all came together, we were kind of like, man, you know, I think we got something here. So, hence, that's how the bobbleheads came into play. That's what's good. That's what's good. Now, how long ha- – now, I know that we came across each other at your event on Tuesday. Now, before we start getting more background into the bobbleheads, uh, I want to go ahead and give you time to plug what you have going on every other Tuesday. Well, tomorrow night, this coming up Tuesday, tomorrow we're going to be at Peace Place. Uh, what's the address on that, Ted? Uh, 2713 West Lake Street. Yeah, East Lake Street. Right. South. So we're there every other Tuesday starting this th- Tuesday and then every other Tuesday after that. And, uh, you know, they got $2 domestics. They got $5 top shelf. We just drinking, kicking and having a good time, you know. Sometimes we perform, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we bring other artists in to perform, you know. So we on Facebook, if if, if an artist is out there and they want to see about plugging down T's place, you know what I'm saying, uh, hit us up on Facebook. Um, you know, we're willing to work with everybody. We don't hate, we participate. And uh, there's a lot of good artists. There's a lot of good music coming out of this region of the United States. And uh, I think people are asleep on us, you know, asleep on other people. And uh, I think, you know, if we all came together, you know, it, it, we could be a conglomerate, you know. There's reasons There's reasons only, you know, five artists have come out of here in popular music in the last 30 years, you know. And, as you know, people got to people gotta rise above the hate, man, and, uh, you know, really try to do something, show people that Minnesota is a force to be reckoned with. Right, and I completely agree with you on that. Now, um, I was going to ask you a question later on in the show, but you just brought it up right now when you said there's only, like, five artists that made it out of this area. Um, Can you elaborate on why you feel, with all the talent that we have here in the Twin Cities, that we just can't seem to get that recognition outside of Minnesota, Wisconsin, or North Dakota? I think... uh... You know, there's a lot of reasons, Deron, that it's like that, and um, I don't know if you could specify it down to one particular one. I can give you a couple of, you know, bullet points that I think that it is. I know one is, you know, a fact. Here's a fact, you know. There are more millionaires per capita in this state than any other state in the union. 
you know, there's more millionaires in New York, there's more millionaires in California, but if you balance out how many millionaires there are in this state compared to what, what the actual population is, you know, there's a lot of money up here. And music, music is a hustle, you know, and a lot of people, even though they hustle up here, they hustle in mortgages. They hustle in, you know, they, they doing what, you know what I'm saying, they doing the backdoor hustle. Or, you know what I'm saying, you got lawyers, you got doctors. It's, it's not a lot of people out here that, that have that hustle in them to, you know, go out and do, because, you know, music don't pay a lot of money, man. It really don't starting off. A lot of people see T.I. and they see Luda and they see, you know, you know, Rick Ross. They see all the people that are out there in the videos with Aston Martins and all kinds of diamonds, but it's not really like that. That's an image, you know what I'm saying? The reality of the fact is is that you really have to put your feet to the fucking floor and grind your nose against the pavement to try to make something of yourself out here. Think of how many rap artists you alone know. Not think of how many people you know. That's a hundred rap artists. You know what I'm saying? Times ten. Right, right. It's just a. Uh, you know, I think that's one thing. I think that there's a lot of money up here without having to, you know what I'm saying, work from zero to hero. People want to start off hero. I think that's one thing. Two, I think another thing is that you know, we're just not recognized as a conglomerate as far as you know, like. You know, you got a lot of music coming out of L.A. You got a lot of music coming out of New York. You got a lot of, of music coming out of Atlanta. You got a lot of publishing. All the biggest publishing companies are based on those coasts. So I think we're just kind of lost in the Midwest, you know, and I think that I think that it's turning around. You know, even though there might not be a lot of Minnesota artists per se, you know, you got a lot of Detroit artists. You got a lot of Chicago artists, you know, and uh, – you know, I think that, that that's turning around, and I'm looking forward to the day that that, that hits that uh, hits that on the head so people can see what we're really doing out here. Okay. Now, just going on this thought just a little bit more, with all of the advances that we've had in technology, with the YouTubes, the Facebooks, the MySpaces, the Twitters, the digital download sites, what can establishments such as WDEP Radio and other Internet radio stations do to help promote not only the bobbleheads, but all indie artists in general? You know, I think a lot of that's on the artists. Um, we've been doing this collectively for four months now, five months maybe, you know, the fact that you're showing love to us with us being on this, hopefully, you know, someone hears that. I mean, it's just word of mouth, you know. I mean, Internet moves fast, but it's still word of mouth. It's, your, that, it's you that's posting this. I'm saying something. You're posting it. Someone will hear that. Someone, you know, the next person hears that. And, you know, it's still just word of mouth, um, you know. You, uh, right, right. You, you can't do everything at once. So I think a lot of it, man, is really just networking. Get to know the right people, uh, you know. Up, you know, pop block block spots are good. You got the block spot. Uh, podcasts are really good. YouTube is an amazing source. Facebook is an amazing source. My MySpace is making another huge comeback now in like the next year or so. So, I think really, man, it's just networking, word of mouth, you know, and uh, just getting yourself out there. And I do appreciate you showing us love on. 107.5 WDEP Radio. It's the Bobbleheads. This is Scott Smears. Hey, boy, Big Tats. And we just sitting here chilling with Deron. We having a good time. And I'm having a good time chilling with you and Tats as well. Now, now I want to get into your music. With this self-titled Bobbleheads CD, what was like the process of you getting these songs from out of you, uh, Tats, and uh, Shy Baby's head in the putting out a finished project that has a CD that has 14, cl 14 tracks that anybody that loves hip-hop can sit back and start off with track number one, Bong Water, and listen to all the way through to track number 14, Live My Life. Hey, I mean, it's, it's an album for real hip-hop heads, you know what I mean? That's why, you know, as soon as you start it from the beginning, every song's different. Every song got a whole different feel. But if you anyone that likes hip-hop, 
You know what I mean? When hip hop was hip hop, you gonna like what you hear. You know, so we we doing it because it's the kind of stuff that we want to hear, and and a lot of cats like the stuff we like, so we had to give them something they could listen to from track one to fourteen. And I'm not making a stab at any of the artists. That, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. You know, and uh, not to make a stab at any of the artists that are coming out right now, because there's a lot of hot artists right out right now. I mean, Drake, Lil Wayne, you know, uh, uh, I mean, just name it. Uh, Hove doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Ross blowing up. And, uh, you know, not not no stab at them, because they make hot music too, but it seems like that music that, like, I grew up on, like, when I was in high school, when I was in college, and I was at a house party, and, you know, like, music's a soundtrack to my life. It seemed like that. I don't hear that music anymore. And, uh, you know, me, Tats, and Shy Baby, we all like that kind of music a lot. So when we sat down to make this album, we were like, you know, we we want that old school, but we want that brand new, too. We want to, you know, try to meet in the middle, try to try to bring a bridge between that. It's like everything sounds the same nowadays sometimes, and... We just wanted to do something different, you know? And I got you, I got you. And I want to say, you know what, you did uh, do something different. You know, you did accomplish what you were set out to. And anybody that wants to hear it, Bobbleheads, you know what, if you want to hear real hip-hop, if you want to hear real Minnesota hip-hop, I advise you to pick up a copy of the Bobblehead self-titled CD. Now, where can they pick up a copy of your music if they wanted it? If you guys are uh, too fucked up to leave the crib, we don't promote, you know, drinking and driving. So you can get it on cdbaby.com or itunes.com. Uh, you can also get it on amazon.com. If you are out and about and you want to hit the city, you can get us at Electric Fetus. You can get us at Fifth Element. You can get us at, uh, where else we have? Down in the Valley, all three locations. So until then, you know, we work in our promotions. We're trying to see if we can get in more venues than that. But as of right now, that is where we are. Hit us up on our Facebook page, Bible, uh, facebook.com backslash Bobbleheads Music. Follow us on Twitter at Bobblehead Music. You know, you can be with right. us all day. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, go ahead and let the people that listen to the show know who's going to be on the show. Uh, tomorrow, I don't have anyone scheduled, but... Uh, my boy Mike Groves, his little brother DG and them, they be uh they be putting it down up there. So they was there last Tuesday. Uh my boy Skip Grands, Dapper Dan Grands, he's another hot artist uh in the Twin Cities. He was up there last Tuesday too. So it's kinda just like, you know, come out. If you come out you're gonna have fun. We're having fun and sometimes it's us, sometimes it's other artists, but we're always just about having fun. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to you know, thirst is everything. Image is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Strike that reverse. So we just, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you if you come to one of our shows, we got a hot, hot live show, and you've been to them around. We'll have the we'll have the whole crowd drunk as a skunk by the time they leave there. So right. And I will admit, you do get the crowd into it, right. and um, with you getting the crowd into it, um, I want to have you. And Tats, do, I guess I, I, I'll also tell you, your calling response that you do every time you're on stage. Our what? Our call and response. Our call and response? When I say yeah. bobbleheads, y'all say bitches. Bobbleheads. Bobble bitches. Bitches. When I say bobble, man, y'all say heads. Bobble. Hey, 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 Jerron, you know we do that drunk out in the street at like 3 o'clock in the morning, Teeth Place, every other Tuesday. So, man. Yeah, I know. I've, I've, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I came up with. And every time, y'all, every time y'all do it, it's like, you know what, whoever is left at the spot, which is 85% of the crowd, they're all out there with you guys right outside of T's place doing that as only the Twin Cities people can do. And I, and, and it's just like that's one of the things that when I saw you guys, that's one of the things that caught my eye, that you actually got the audience in it, even to the point you would stop your set and say, hey, hey, 
if y'all ain't if, if y'all don't come over right now, stop feeling us. We gonna shut this place down right now. I've never seen any artist do that in all my years of either listening to music or you know listening to music as an on air personality or as a DJ. And I want to go ahead and give y'all much props for having the the cojones to tell the people, hey, if you don't get involved in our show, we're going to shut the place down right now. All right, it seems like the bobbleheads are, the signal is breaking up. So what I'm going to do is, if you guys can still hear me, I'm going to ask you guys to hang up and call right back in so we can go ahead and make sure that we have a clear connection. That is unless uh, your your connection problem has been fixed right now. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, it was like a little while ago when I was, you know, it seemed like nobody was able, I don't know if it was you or if it was Scott. All I heard was a lot of uh, static on the line, so I guess we ain't got to worry about that. Uh, All right. All right, yeah, there you back. Now, with what you guys have going on on Tuesday, uh, what can people expect next from the bobbleheads? That's a good question. That is a good question. I think one thing they could expect is they could expect to see a music video coming real soon for track six, Bobby Head to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's going to be coming out very, very soon. We're going to start filming that within the next probably 30 days here. I think another thing they can expect to see is they can expect to see a mixtape dropping. Yeah. And uh, this time it's not just going to be us, you know. There's going to be other people on there too. You know what I'm We're going to have some features. So uh, I think another thing that they could look, you know, forward to is we do have, uh, you know, not to step on toes, Duran, 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 Duran doing it, but we do have a, a online radio show at Spreaker.com, just not even a radio show, just a playlist. We just put playlists up there, that, that stuff that, you know, gets the crowd moving. You at a party, you're like, hey, man, put on Bobbleheads Radio, live mm-hmm. at the hot box. You can play it too, yeah. You know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm mad that you for doing what you do. Uh, trust me, you're not stepping on toes because it's all about getting the music out there for right. people to listen to. I mean, that's what the Internet radio, that's what Internet thing is for. I'm like, you know, all we're doing when we do radio like this is putting music out. There is no competition because in the end, music wins. It always does. Right. You know, it's all about the music. It's not about the ego. And that's one thing I like about you guys, you know, especially with you guys. We here with you. We we all here together, man. We partying together. It's a know? movement. Exactly. You know, we got no right. ego because we don't want to be better than someone in this place. We want everyone in the place to have fun. We and we want to be the ones responsible for them having fun. And we humble, right. man. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, we know that higher power. We recognize that higher power. So, you know what I'm saying? We can't let ourselves get too high, you know what I'm saying, because we're under him. So how are we going to put someone under us if we're all under him? You know what I mean? That That is so true. I completely agree with that. Now, um, over the last two weeks, I just got finished covering um, the illicit Who's Ill Tour, um, and I was wondering if the bobbleheads have something like that or something comparable to that coming up where you can actually go on like either a four-venue or eight-venue tour coming up within the next month or so. Yeah, we would love to do something like that. Uh, you know, we're constantly we're constantly trying to step our game up and, uh, you know, search other venues. Uh, you know, the CD just came out, so, I mean, it's still fresh to us. We're still in the streets moving it, um, you know, I don't have something like that in the pipeline, and maybe you're telling me that because we should have something like that in the pipeline. Probably. So maybe that's another thing that the bobbleheads will have to work on. All right. Now, now earlier I know you mentioned um, about the fact that, you know, you don't hear the hip-hop like you used to hear when you were growing up. Uh, but with that being said, one thing I want to know is when it came to music, from when you were younger, who, now this is for both of you, who were like your top three artists that were out when you were younger? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, yeah. Michael Jackson, Dr. Dre, yeah. Scarface, mm-hmm. Salt and Pepper, Too Short, Madonna, <laughs> nah, nah, Digital Underground, you know, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, uh, Parliament Funkadelic, Lucy Collins, Marvin Gaye. Mm-hmm. 
man, anything Motown, anything made by the Motown band, man, really just the instrumentation is just ridiculous. Barry Gordy, really. Uh, you know, the Righteous Brothers. I used to listen to the Righteous Brothers, and I was Presley with my mom, Leonard Skinner. <laughs> uh, you know, we just come, we come from a real diverse background, you know, but a lot of the music that was back in the day, man, is like it was music. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have auto-tune. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have eight vocal tracks to work with on a chorus and 16 more on a fucking verse. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't have the technology that we have nowadays. nowadays. And um, it's, it's just a different kind of music, man. It was, like, more natural back then, you know? Other than, you know, the last track on our album, I don't even think we used auto-tune. Wow. Because just... <laughs> It's it's cool for what it is, but it's like man, it's just like it's every t- everything you hear now. That's what it is. Turn turn on turn on a radio station from your car, and what you're gonna hear some popcorn shit. That everything's the same, and that's cool. And that you know, it's still good music in its own aspect, but it, it ain't it ain't got that natural sound to it, man. You know, it's I think music should have like a natural acoustic vibe to it. You know, so right, right. You got to do it, you know. Right. Well, Jim, first of all, I want to thank you once again for taking time out of your schedule to come hang out with me um, here on WDEP Radio as we, you know, gave the spotlight to the bobbleheads. And well, we right. And I want to let you know this. You know what? I, I I stopped my interviews for about a month, and when I started up my interviews, you know, my interviews like I told you that night when I was there. Um, when I started redoing interviews, I wanted you guys to be my very first artist that I interviewed starting in the month of October, and I want to thank you for coming through. Uh, if they know you, they now know, know you more. If they didn't know you, well, guess what? Now they know you. And I want to thank you guys for coming through. Um, hopefully I can make it out tomorrow. It all depends on what my schedule is, but you know what? My first and foremost love on Tuesday night is hanging out with the bobbleheads. Um, I talked to the people at CMI Radio uh, in Seattle, and we talked about having a WDEP radio tour, and she agreed with me that, yes, one of the artists that once I get this off, one of the artists that I, when, I, when I go to Seattle for my tour, uh, for the radio tour, one of the artists that I need to bring is the Bobbleheads. So, Bobbleheads will be taking over Seattle, Washington. Right. And you heard it first here on WDEP Radio with Deron. Uh, Deron. Hey, Deron the shit for all y'all. If y'all don't know him, that's the man. Yeah, that's the dude. Deron cool as hell. All right, thank y'all, man. You know what? I'm a, I, 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 y'all, I may be cool, but y'all are colder. You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. You know what I'm saying? All I do is I just talk. But see, y'all got the real talent. Y'all, play, y'all, y'all make music. I'm just somebody that plays the music that y'all make. <laughs> hey, but you, you hey, know, man, you 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 a person just like us, man. We all we all got kids. We all trying to live, you know. As a member of the Bobbleheads Nation, I don't know if I just gave y'all a new name for y'all, you know, for your, for your fan crew, but you know what? I am a proud member of the Bobbleheads Nation. Absolutely, hey, hey, appreciate you, Darrell, for show, man. This was a. This was a solid conversation, man. We had a lot of fun tonight, man. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, man. You know, y'all just go ahead and keep on giving out good quality shows and producing good quality music. And you know what? There's nothing, there's nowhere that you guys can't go. There's no door that you can't knock down if you keep on doing what you're doing and stay true to yourself. 